your husband's so right. You're so aggressive. Oh, I was in confidence. You're dead to me. <laughs> now, hello, everybody. <laughs> You're very welcome to another week of fun and frolics on Late Lunch Live. Well, fun, maybe. Uh, Martin might frolic later on. You never know. Sounds it's Monday. Weird. Anywho, our guest today is the advertising genius and co-founder of Innocent Smoothies, who once dressed up as a vicar in the hope of selling more juices. It is, of course, Mr. Dan Germain, everybody. <laughs> You didn't marry anybody or carry out no, any No, no, it was the only outfit left at the fancy dress shop. Yeah. Ah, yeah. right. Each okay. their own, that's okay. what I said. Hey, hey, Each what he own. does on the weekend is his business. <laughs> or in the kitchen, the talented Seamus Commons from Knock Granny House is back with us once again, cooking the finest gourmet. What's on the menu today, my friend? Um, Angus burgers, curry holly cheese, onion pickle, cos and mustard aioli. Oh, right. Tasty. Burgers, basically. Burgers. Posh yeah, burgers. Sorry. Posh, Posh burgers. burgers. Okay. burgers. Yeah. I'm getting it today. <laughs> okay. Now, last night, no fewer than 33 couples, gay and straight, tied the knot live at the Grammys with uh, Macklemore and Madonna acting, acting as the wedding band. Now, if that sort of ceremony isn't readily available to you, or if you're planning what's meant to be the happiest day of your life, then take a look at this handy guide for stressed out brides. Mm -hmm. From helping you decide what guests to invite to wardrobe guides, it really is the biz. The creators have also devised a chart which caters for the most thrifty among us, as well as those who've got a few quid to throw around the place. Some of the advice is pretty practical, though, if you're looking to save cash, uh, but some are fairly wacky. Some are a little bit odd in there. Okay, well, they're kind of. Start it, with it the is dress. a credit card company, you know, so. Anyway, yeah, let's start with the dress because they, they say the normal spend on a dress will be several thousand euro. Who yeah. spends several thousand euro on a wedding dress these days? Celebrities. Okay. All right. Uh, but that won't even include alterations on a veil. Whereas the super thrifty might just wear flowers instead of buying a dress because it can only be done once. Yes. They save the money for But like, things. wear flowers as the dress. No, Am I think really just wear the little dress and use the flowers to colour things up a little bit. Oh, sorry. OK, I'm with you. You don't see right. them walking down the aisle just covered in flowers, do you? <laughs> like Sunita. Remember an X Factor? No? no. OK, uh, entertainment. OK, the normal thing is book a fully-fledged band for a ceremony or for the entertainment for the evening, costing maybe 600 quid. Cheap Super band. thrifty. Rent a karaoke machine and a couple of microphones. Awful, what do we think? Awful idea. Awful idea? I, th I think so. Right. Well, you've always got one drunken mate who's just going to... Oh, yeah. hog the microphone. Hog the mic. Totally hog the microphone. At my sister's wedding, that's exactly what happened. Yeah. yeah. He pointed at you. Yeah. Yeah, he's pointing at you. I, I, I am that mate. <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, she is that. Definitely. You know it. I know. You know Same it. song over and over. <laughs> and yeah. I love Westlife, so it, it does get worse. No. Okay. Uh, I, for the reception, uh, normally you would pick a separate venue for the reception, doubling decoration and transportation costs. The yeah. super thrifty might avoid rental fees altogether by hosting it at home. Which yeah. is a good idea, Marquee yeah. in the back garden. Yeah, I, I did that. At did my you? Wedding. Yeah, my mother-in-law's back garden. Okay. Worked a treat. You were off to a great start, yeah, and not, marrying yeah. the daughter in her house. Yeah, yes. and not too far to go home at the end of the evening when you're a bit yes. less aware. Just yeah. Stumble into the house. So clearly you got on with your in-laws if they allowed you for this to take place. Still do. Still do. Yeah. That's okay. Good on you. <laughs> okay. And finally, photos. Normally uh, you'd hire a photographer for the ceremony for formal shots and reception. Super Thrifty says, why not try uh, a disposable camera on the tables of the reception? Fun and retro. But no. Here's, no. here's why That's, you shouldn't. You can't do it. And I'm not saying it for obvious reasons because of my good lady. Yeah. But the disposable cameras on the table, you're just taking pictures of the people around you. Yes, or nudie shots. Yeah. Well, Boys again, do. Yeah. you know, Boys. after she's finished on the camera, on Shames. the karaoke. Yes. Yeah. No, but no, I, you're not gonna you're not, you're not gonna get those really important not some no. formal shots, but informal the shots. No. You need you need the proper Yes stages. you do. Everyone needs those proper album shots. Yeah. Yes. Surely. Yeah. Surely. Oh, surely. And, and the other thing to remember from a wedding is that that's the longest relationship you're going to have with a service provider. Because yeah. after the wedding is over, the honeymoon's done, yeah. you're still chatting to your photographer. Yeah, yeah. Job. And look at you. Yeah. you. You married her. I did. Yeah. So yeah. it really is a long relationship. <laughs> and it works. Yeah. Now, as always, we love to hear what you think at home, so please get in touch with us. You can email us or tweet us. Uh, you send your comments to at Late Lunch Live. We're also on Facebook, or you could pop us a text. All you need to do is text live plus that comment to 53131. Now, living the busy, single and relatively unhealthy life in London gave our guest the idea to set up his successful smoothie business. Maybe that's the criteria we should all abide by in the hope of creating a money-making machine. And it is, of course, Dan Germain! Good to have you here. Sorry, that was a little bit of an... 
Enthusiastic yeah. intro. Was, that was a massive intro. Thank well, you. Well, are we getting close to the positivity you. that you endorse? Yeah, yes. I, I think so, and, and thank you for trying. Yes, well. okay, yeah. It was, it was spectacular. Yeah. Um, Try harder, note to self. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm here in Dublin to to try and promote a bit of stunt positivity. Yeah, tell yes. us about this big stunt that's going on. Well, tonight. so the idea is there's a chain of good. So there's a chain of good between the act of drinking a smoothie or drinking one of our drinks yes. and the, the end result. Okay, so, so you can have one today. Maybe I'll even leave you a bottle. Thank you. If you're good. You've got if, the hint. If You've got the good. hint. If you're if good. good. Oh. Yeah. And because <laughs> what we do is, is uh, donate 10% of profits to charity, to our own charity, then yes. that charity does good stuff elsewhere. So we've made some films about what happens when we do that called okay. The Chain of Good. So in Dublin tonight is a little mini Chain of Good happening uh, where people can tweet somebody they like Mm -hmm. You could tweet each other. Right. Pay, the, pay those compliments. Yes, that, right. you, that you're just too embarrassed to say on the telly. Exactly. Yes. And they will be projected onto the Powers Court Centre. Oh, all right. Massive, live and direct for everyone okay. to see. So, so some, say something nice about somebody you, you like or even love. Yeah. Um, hey, it'd be a good opportunity, surely, to maybe pop the question. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should, we should get a couple yeah, of those in. Get if people, any, if yeah. anyone's thinking of doing that. The hashtag is spread good. Okay. Maybe maybe there's another hashtag for proposals. And, and, and that's what it's going to look like. We're cool. just taking a look at this picture. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Surrounded well, by fruit. Exactly. And and I think the idea is that you have to be bananas to do this. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or no. But but you you get that and that picture gets sent back to you and you can show all your, you can show all your friends that you were there. You were famous for for mm. that minute. Brilliant. And there you go. Spread okay. good. Spread spreading good is the thing. Spread right. Yeah. It's That's all about right, positivity. And why are you doing this? Just I, th I think just because the business, when we, when we started the business, um, I guess one of the things you can do is you can choose the rules. You can make the rules for yeah. yourself. And we wanted to do good for people. So, mm -hmm. so you want to think about whether you, uh, you keep all the money and you sit on it and then you spend it on... On nonsense, yeah. or whether you give some of it back to to people who need it more than you, and so that's yes. the choice we made from the beginning. That Innocent was going to be a generous business, yeah. um, and and this is just this is the latest, I guess, example of, of us doing that, and okay. also just having a bit of a laugh. Yeah, to exactly. Be yeah. Uh, yeah, the business I think over the years has been known for for having a kind of open relationship uh, with the people who drink the drinks, having a bit of a chat, a conversation, mm -hmm. rather than it being us yes. all guarded in our ivory tower. And, and thinking of sneaky ways to sell people stuff. Yes, you are um, open. Exactly, open, open source. And okay, would you be like that at work? Yeah. Same idea? Yeah, the door, well, the doors are open. The, the, and the great thing about our office, whether you're in Dublin or London or, or Paris, is the doors are always open. So it, okay. says, on, it says on the label, you can yes. pop into our office. What are we looking at Anytime. there? Is that your office? That's your so office. that's it. So that's, so that hey, you where'd would, you get that phone from? Uh, the phone box, uh, I'd love stole, to make one. Stole the phone box. Okay. Yeah. So we, I, think we, I, think we, I think we bought it legit. And the, the great thing about that phone box, actually, was, was moving it. It's the heaviest thing okay. in the world. Is that grass on your... That's grass, yeah. So the, so the entire Astro. office is, is astroturfed. OK. Which, wow. which uh, at the beginning, was, was, at, was out of necessity because it's quite cheap. OK. But actually, you find it's the hardest, <laughs> the hardest wearing, longest lasting yes. stuff. And stains come out quite easily. And do you have to you... hoover? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah you right. do. You, you can you hoover you astro. You your garden. That's yeah. how you clean. Yeah. You hoover. No. Yeah, you don't have to mow it. Oh, my it. God, that's so but, cool. Yeah, hoovering's, hoovering's good. You could mow it for the laugh. You, you could. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, another, yeah, another stunt. Okay. But yeah, yes. the, office, the offices are, uh, I think, again, part of, the, part of the culture of the business is having a place that okay. people actually want to yeah. come to work, right? They yes. They don't resent this place that they come every day. They're actually going to enjoy being there. Exactly. But well, stunts is what you guys are all about. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess so. I guess, I know, but I guess that's born out of, um, initially, when we started, having no money. Yeah. So what, we, what I now consider to be a stunt was actually, again, was necessity. Yes. So... And these are your two bins? So, the, well, the bins, yeah, was, the, was the, the mother of all the stunts. Yeah. It was, it was the thing where we knew that we had a product or, or a proto-product that was going to work, we hoped, but we put up a sign at a festival, a very small music festival, saying, do you think we should give up our day jobs? I love this story. And we had a bin that said yes and a bin that said no. So throughout the weekend, people came and tried the drinks. Mm -hmm. And if they liked them, they voted yes. And, you know, the... You know, truth is stranger than fiction, I think, in that that actually happened. And that was the, that was the thing that made us decide to give up our old jobs. You all literally resigned and went, right, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and Got a market and, and, and Innocent began, well, on the Monday. Wow. wow. That is just fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But, but from that Great music story. festival, didn't you go on to stage your own? And they were free music yes. festivals. Yes, yes. So, so I guess, the, and then, a, so a larger stunt, if you like, 
is uh, the festival we used to hold in Regent's Park in London, which is called Fruitstock. Uh, we did it for four or five years, and we and we started it in the uh, in a way that was probably quite rubbish. But it was it was it was free, and we put a stage in the corner of the park, yeah. and we put a beer tent and all the other things we thought you'd need, and then we waited for people to turn up. And that, and was a, that was the scariest. Bit. That's the scariest <laughs> bit. You know, like when you have a party at your house, and yes. you know, and it's seven thirty, and you've got everything ready, yes. but you. But people aren't me, like, is anyone going to come to I know, to the my first party? doorbell, you're like, yes, I've got yeah. friends. It was like that, just with 20,000 people. Right. But eventually, uh, gradually they came. So that first weekend uh, in 2002, I think it was, we had 20,000 people turn up. And it was an amazing weekend, and I don't remember much about it. But, yeah, it's a good but, sign. Exactly. And then we got to, you know, go forward to 2006, the last time we did it, um, 160,000 people turned up. That's Holy moly. Which was bigger than any festival in the UK that yeah. year. Um, and and still to this day, I don't really, I don't know exactly why all those people came because there were loads of other festivals they could go to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But something about the fact that we we gave that festival to them, it yeah. was theirs, it was yes. free. They kind of voted on the bands and you know mm-hmm. figured out what they wanted to do at the festival. Yeah, or maybe you just had hot friends. Well, yeah, one hundred sixty thousand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Popular guy. Hey, listen, that's like a mini Glastonbury. Yeah, it was far off. But it was the last, but it was the last time we did it yeah. because. Yeah, I get, well, 160. It was at that point that the local authorities and the police yeah, it thought it was probably a good idea. That Maybe one or two too many. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, right. <laughs> well, w- listen, how it all began is something else we want to know, but we're going to have yes. to park that for now because sure. we need to take a break. Uh, still to come, more culinary delights from Seamus Commons in the late lunch life kitchen. Uh, but heading into the break, enjoy a clip from this weekend's cinema release Out of the Furnace, which stars Christian Bale and Woody Harrelson. <laughs> do this one last fight and then I'll be done. Showtime. Russell, they haven't been able to find your brother. They aren't gonna look for Rodney? No. There's a whole other world up in there. Don't read a justice and it does not include us. Well, welcome back, everybody. Now on our kitchen today is the lovely Seamus Commons from Knockranny House Thank Hotel you. in Westport. And we are going to make, basically, burgers. Burgers, yeah. yeah. But nice burgers. Nice burgers. No, burgers. burgers. Yeah. Posh burgers. We can go posh burgers. But um, I suppose the burgers kind of start off at rum steak minced. I think a lot of people are just going to buy regular mince and this is the burger from. But even the depth of flavour. This one you can pick it up and eat in raw. We know where it came from. Yeah. The animal it came from. Yeah. What happened to it? Oh dear. Yeah. So make me cry. And you would eat that no. one? Yes, you eat that yes, one? yes, yes, okay. definitely. Yeah, it's good depth of flavour in it. Yeah. Even though ready is meat. Is it's it necessary to do that? Mm-hmm. Later on. It's just on when we get the seasoning right. <laughs> no, I know, no one would have said that okay. thought by him. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just say I'm not well. No, just saying you could be pregnant. Okay. okay. So we have so I'm out here, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have our mince. Okay, we have our mince. And would this be two pounds of mince? Yeah, that's uh, but yeah, roughly. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, shallot, it's been diced with some thyme and a little bit of thyme and garlic, chopped. right? Finely chopped. Sweat down a little bit of butter. The reason doing that, because you get the, the raw taste of onion into it. We don't want yes. that, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. Okay, so kind of lightly blend it. We're not going to mush it together because if you, you kind of beat it together, you're going to, all the strands are going to tighten up. It's going to be like a block. Okay, yeah. Like the ones in the oven. Okay. Like. Mm-hmm. Okay, a tiny bit of uh, pasteurized egg yolk in there. And when you say pasteurized, Pasteurised. If the reason pasteurised, because most people who make burgers, they make a batch of them and they'll use them the next day. So you get that extra bit of shelf life in it. But if you've got free range eggs, you know where the eggs came from? Yeah, use yeah. the egg yolk. Right, okay. Not an issue. Okay. 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 Um, dried crumbs. A little bit in there. So that's that. The I m- like these little containers you have. These are yeah, the glass yeah, yeah. So They're, they're like little teardrops. <laughs> yes. yes. Teardrops. Just yeah. handy. Um, watch the sauce. Yeah, love it. Can you watch the sauce in? I drink that out of the bottle. Okay, we'll hide the bottle. Um, and then we got uh, a little bit of season, a tiny bit of salt. D- at this stage, right, if you're unsure of what the season and the recipe side of things, fry off a bit. Okay. Onto a hot pan, sear it off, taste of se- season, and basically salt and pepper and see what the story is. Mm-hmm. Right. Now we're just going to make a burger, we'll just leave that to one side. Basically, our, our patty, isn't that what it's called? Yeah, but basically kind of knock it down like that rather than put much pressure on it, okay? Oh, so it's quite loose, is it? Yeah. 
because even the texture of the meat, even where cooking wise, it should be a lot softer and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. even the fat content, there's not very high fat content in it. Like this is venison, venison burgers. Mm -hmm. You need a bit more, you'd have to put fat onto it because venison itself is a very low fat content in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a burger. Can't be nice. a good burger. Wow. Yeah. So basically, all we do then is turn it over and it's a good size bit of oil. as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is good size, yeah. yeah. Decent Jack, burger. Yeah, he does really good portions. Small well, we called some West of Ireland portions. Yeah. Yeah. So you know you're getting fed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's a burger. So we basically caramelise it off. So we start with the sides for it, right? Someone's going to have to do the boil. Right? Aioli base, right? Yeah. Pasteurised egg yolk again, or um, free range egg, to yourself. A tiny bit of mustard, whole grain mustard, a tiny bit of Dijon mustard, and we're going to micro paint in a little bit of garlic. Okay. Okay. Turn the garlic in. Rather than just chopping it and. Yeah, but it, it basically is so fine, so you're guaranteed. It'll be the flavours will be injected into it okay, straight away. Okay, we will take a big mouthful of garlic. Yes. Okay. Dan, can so you see, cook? Yeah, I can, well, I can, I can whisk. whisk. But can you actually cook in real life? Yeah, I can cook. So it's a gradually pouring oil. When you say I can cook, do you mean like yeah, you can, can make a lasagna, so or could you say do a roast for, for twelve people? I could do a roast for twelve people. Well, he can cook. Yeah. Okay. So he's okay. got a job. Yeah, but uh, that's wanna... one of the maybe the few things. Right. Harder or, or harder? Yeah. yeah. Do you obviously into food? I yeah, I am. I am. I wouldn't say I'm some sort of um. Crazy gourmet. Yes. But I think generally these days people are, you know, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, food 20 years ago, as a, as a bloke my age, maybe I, maybe yeah. I wouldn't have cooked as much. Well, yeah. isn't, that, isn't that how Innocent came about? Because it was you and three mates yeah. from uni who weren't eating well and decided oh, yeah. you needed to improve <laughs> your diet. Work out the muscle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I guess, I guess we, were, we were typical then, typical 25 year olds living in the city, mm -hmm. eating, eating a load of rubbish. Boys, living on and, so that, and that's where the, you know, it's not like we were um, smoothie, oh, smoothie, oh, that's good, isn't it? smoothie evangelists on a mission. We, were, yes. we just wanted to, to design the perfect antidote to that, yep. to that way of living. Okay. And so Innocent was born. Um, was, yeah, and, and I guess we, we didn't have any special sort of insider knowledge on what, was the, what were the great combinations. We were, we were in a kitchen, you know, in a, not dissimilar to this, in a, in a flat. Mm -hmm. Messing around with the blender and messing around with different fruits. That's where the first recipes came from. There was no, there was no um, you know, it's not like one of us was a was a great yeah, chef or yes, anything. It, yeah. was, it just came from some blokes and a, and a blender and some fruits. Okay. Just goes to show you though, a good idea, and it's generally the simple ideas that are the most. But, no, but, but actually, the, but the, the most important bit of it was no, was knowing that we had a market for it, which was us. Yeah. Yes. You know, and if yes. we wanted it, then probably our mates wanted it. Yeah, if our mates exactly. wanted it, then there was a bunch of people yes. somewhere that probably needed it like we did. Yeah. Yeah. But understanding probably the Probably me need, and my mates, yeah. Yeah, but knowing what the need was was the, mo was the most important thing, I think. Yes. Um, and look where it's gone now. Yeah. Hey, how's the burger going, Shane? Burger's looking well. We're actually just lightly toasted buns, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So just to pop a seam system on them. Right. For to, uh, assembly side of things, tomato jam. Everyone goes to my ketchup and not tomato ketchup. Okay. It's highly sorry, offended if no, someone goes that ketchup, okay? Yeah, not right, see, ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's not getting a bun? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for a ketchup, basically, it's the same thing like with similar um, tomatoes, peppers, um, tomatoes, peppers, tomato paste, shallots, garlic, vinegar, sugar, very little sugar, that's it. Bring it down to gastric, pass it, puree it, that's it. Okay, Bring the depth of flavour. If you can, it's yeah. 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 a good depth of flavour off it, right? It's all on our website, as always, everyone. Okay, cheese side of things, right? Um, okay. We have two minutes. We've got curry, curry, curry holly cheese, right? We've yeah. got a nettle cheese, so we're going to use a nettle, pepper, and curry holly. One piece on each burger. Yeah. Nettle, yeah. Nettle. yeah. Don't be a stranger with the cheese. I love like nettle cheese. cheese. Okay. Did you say nettle cheese? Nettle cheese, yeah. It's a Net local. Nettle or curry. nettle? Nettle. Nettle. Yeah. nettle. Mm -hmm. Like nettle. nettle. It's like off my accent yeah. again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it's Western like. Iron accent. <laughs> okay, we're going to start dressing it up, right? The base of the burger, a little bit of jam. Okay, and reach. Tomato jam. Tomato jam. Yeah. Very versatile. Would you be very offended now if someone if was, was fine dining in a franny and asked for ketchup? Um, it happens. Like chefs get so annoyed, don't they? No, not anymore. Can I get mellowed out of it? Yeah. Can I just ask? Not that I'm like, you know, don't ask we, we know that in ketchup you'll get a fair <laughs> amount of sugar. So in your tomato jam, we're dealing with less sugar. Basically, more, nine times out of ten, we get really ripe tomatoes. So there's a high sugar content, natural sugar content to it. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. I noticed so you're only putting tomato in this stuff. Um, that's yours. On that's two. yours. Is that because yeah, I? Yeah. So you're slapping my ketchup. Yeah. 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 No, I'm not. Yeah. You're giving me abuse. Are you not allowed? Oh, I'm know. hurt. I'm going to actually cry now. Let, let me just lick, lick the board. Listen, okay. listen, if it's any good to you, I'll, I'll show you where HR. <laughs> HR <laughs> I go there nearly every day. He lives there. It's embarrassing. Anyone who sits in the ashtray now. 
Yeah, I, I get, okay. yeah, like okay. as our Tomatoes. producer just said, I'm, a, I, I'm on frequent flyer points. Okay. Yes. Because I'm there so often. Well. Yes. That should make me try to buy your beers. the burgers. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. well, I'll be there again now. <laughs> <laughs> just like for a burger, right? This is one that's been seared off earlier on. You have 30 seconds. Oh. Okay. Now. God, you're bringing really something making two shows? 30 I'm seconds sorry. to eat. eat the, I'm heartbroken. Eat the whole lot. No. I'll give you one pepper. Okay. Okay. Yes. Right, okay. there's your plate, my darling. Right, so basically, normally we'd serve it this way so Sarah doesn't get cold or cook, really. Okay, and that's, that's, burgers. that's it. And that that is it. burgers. Okay, put your bundies on, boys. And okay. pickled onions. Pretend you're at home. Pretend that nobody's nobody's watching. Okay, okay. That's the way to do oh, it. Yes. Okay. And and it's 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 this is the point where Lucy's going to steal mine because um, yeah. because right. uh, I I I got I got to do the next thing. Oh. Right. So tuck in and enjoy. Can I go? Can I go in? You go yeah, for yeah. it. He's a hungry boy. Uh, yeah. That's it for part two. But we've loads more to come. We'll be chatting to Dan some more. Plus, I'll be back in the kitchen with James. Get right in there. Right in there. <laughs> 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 Don't go away. Cancer survivor overcoming the disease comes back and wins. Yeah, they liked that. Even in 1999, steroids showed up in a urine test. So the guys scoured the internet and we found one that was indeed a cream. Cream for a, what we call a saddlesore. He was an immensely intimidating person. You are not worth the chair that you're sitting on. If you crossed him, you are doomed. There are people who have really been ruined. This is not a story about doping. It's a story about power. And the story became hanging on to that power. Welcome wow. back, everybody. I know, I know, that's mm. quite exciting stuff. That was a clip of the documentary, the, um, the Armstrong Lie, which takes a look at the life of the disgraced cyclist. It hits Irish screens uh, cinemas this weekend. Now our fabulous guru guest, Mr. John Germain. John Germain, sorry, I've got jam <laughs> on the <laughs> rail. Works. With a mouthful of hamburger. John <laughs> Germain is still with us. Do you know what it is? It's that tomato jam. Yeah. It's all over all your right. beard and all over my teeth. No, it's not really. <laughs> Good burgers, eh? It was amazing. It was amazing. Good. I'll, I'll, while we're doing the next bit, can I? Yes, yes. Carry on. Most of our guests wait, wait, eat when we're yeah, talking. We'll we, we wait if you take the next mouthful and then we'll ask you. Yes, so <laughs> please, tuck in. <laughs> <laughs> so you evil. Were, yeah. You were up this morning, crack it on, up before the milkman. Yep. Uh, at 7 o'clock, you were talking to people. What were you saying to them? I think, well, it was, it was to a group of people who'd, um, who'd signed up for, this, for a talk, which was pretty amazing to get that many people there early in the morning on a Monday yeah and it was windy and it was raining it's the sort yes. of morning that you would just roll over and go yeah. back to sleep it, yeah yeah uh, uh, and it was I guess it was talking about uh, creativity and where the innocent brand comes from or where the innocent voice comes from um, you know I, I don't know how much you know about the business because I've, I've told you a bit about it already yeah yeah but it's, it's just about um, finding ideas from from nothing ultimately which is which is that thing I was talking about earlier yeah. about the challenge of having no money and uh, having a product that nobody really knows or maybe even understands, but trying to trying to figure out how to how to get people interested. Where to in begin, it. though? Yeah, I mean, but the, and the word interesting is a word that I talk about a lot when I'm when I'm trying to pass on the stuff that we. So it's learned. not a crutch word. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. no, it's it, it, you know because because if you think about the amount of uh, messages and the amount of stuff that you're bombarded with from businesses, from brands, from products, and mm. um, the, the only things that ever that, that ever really resonate with you are the truly. Are the things that interest you. So yeah. for me, it's a it's a it's a constant search to find, you know, like the stunt tonight that we're doing. Yeah. Uh, it's to try and find things that will actually interest you, even if it's just for half a second or, or you know, for five minutes. Okay. Because our li our lives, our lives as they are, are you know, we kind of blank most of it out. Yeah. For being yeah, honest. we do. Yeah. yeah. So what would be then your do's say for building a brand? Um, what should I people do? Well, I think I think to the point of um, of knowing. Knowing what it is that people need, you know, smoothies. Finding we were, a niche. Yeah, we weren't we weren't on some sort of crusade to to change the world via the power of of fruit drinks, but we just figured we were unhealthy enough that we needed that antidote. So, yes. to, so, so to understand what the need is, you know, in the same way that that um, somebody like uh, Sir James Dyson, you know, he 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 understood there was a, that that vacuum cleaners were pretty rubbish. Yes. In his opinion, yeah. and, that, and that he could just invent something or even yeah. just improve something better so just knowing where your market is what you what you need to do yes and i guess the i guess the second bit is um is have a have a sense of usefulness there's so much useless rubbish mm -hmm. in the yes, world like meggings 
Oh, leggings. Yeah. Leggings Make, for men. Oh, leggings for men. Well, we weren't gonna, we weren't gonna go with that idea, but we're not yeah. now. Anyway, that's another story. No. Continue, no, I didn't, please. I didn't, well, I didn't wear mine. But the, on that. But, the, yeah. but the uselessness of you know, and we all know it. We we, we buy things. We have things in our homes. We. That, that are just that we don't need, yes, but somebody's there. convinced us that you that you that you should have, and the, and the waste for me just mm -hmm. it really it really bugs me. So yes. trying trying to live a life and trying to think of products that people that will be of genuine use because okay. the purpose of the business ultimately is to help people live well and die be old. Healthy. That's what it says on the wall. And know. are your smoothies healthy? Or mm. yeah, I mean, I know it's slightly controversial at the moment. People are talking about juice drinks and yeah. etc. Is there a lot of sugar in them? There's the sugar that you would find in fruit. Right. So, you know, if it's a strawberry and banana smoothie, then there's sugar in strawberries and, and there's, in there's sugar in bananas. So nothing added? So, no. Oh, no, 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 not at all. So, you know, you eat a banana or you drink one of our smoothies, you're getting exactly the same amount of sugar mm. and you're getting all the other good stuff as well. You're getting the fibre, the antioxidants, the vitamins. OK. So Because there are those who say that you don't get the fibre yeah. well, when it's put down into a smoothie. Yeah, I, well, I, I, could, I could show you otherwise. Yes. Ultimately, ultimately okay. is that you're, you're getting the whole fruit. And that's, that, you know, that's, that's why we make them. I would be, we chose to start making them. And I'd be an idiot if we carried on making something that I didn't believe in yeah, and didn't yeah, believe course, was healthy. Yeah. So, you know, I could go and do something else now with my, with my life if I wish to. Yes. But I'm, I'm, I'm there. You know, I'm, I'm, I want my kids to drink smoothies, and I want to. Yes. And you believe in your product. Yeah, yeah, totally, mm -hmm. totally. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you enjoy being the creative force behind the product. I, I do. I, fi I still find it amusing. I still sort of, you know, pinch my legs under the table when we're having a big meeting about. You know, spending a lot of money on something or doing something very important and grown up yes. as a business. Grown up, yeah, really grown up. <laughs> and, it, and I still and I still think somebody's going to come in one day and kind of go, "This was all just a bit yeah, of a yeah. joke." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You guys, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like the Truman Show or something. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and so, so, uh, so I, st I guess, I guess my title, being the the creative director, you know, I still kind of people say that to me, and I'm, you know, yeah. really, what yeah, does that director, mean? What so good. Well, what does that mean? I mean that, that's a good question. It's mean? a good question. It's like my grandparents and my parents would ask me, what, what does yes, the creative director do? What do you do? Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what the parents do always you ask. Do? Yeah, I, I guess ultimately there's there are, the, there are the drinks, the stuff in the bottle. I'm kind of I'm less involved with with actually finding great fruit and making great tasting drinks. That's, yeah. There's a bunch of experts in our building that just do that. You know? yeah. um, uh, where, where I hope that I add something is in what people see and feel when they, when they connect with us. So whether it's designing packaging, making a TV ad, whether it's writing a book, a recipe book that, we, that we've written a few of, um, yeah. it's, it's just, it's the, it's the, and the interaction, you know, using social media, um, make the new campaign that we're doing, the Chain of Good, the yeah. thing that you can see at chainofgood.ie. See, I told yeah, him see, I'd get that. Yeah, yeah. Chain of and, good and he did. <laughs> he did. He did. Um, he did. He did. Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. And not obvious at all. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was, there's a little break now, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> where, you, where you edit that bit out. Um, but, I th but I think it's, it's, just, it's what, what people experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I look at. You know, you look at all the legendary brands that have, that have made a, made themselves a part of people's life, like a like an Apple or a Nike, and you you know you, you kind of what I've done is just grow up with great brands that have done that and yeah. sort of nick the good ideas and be influenced mm -hmm. by them, and also you know the advent of social media means you can just get to people. Mm -hmm. uh, even more directly, even quicker. You can yes. get great feedback on what you're doing. People will tell you what's rubbish very quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess growing up in that age it just just means that being a creative director is. Uh, it's a nice gig. Somebody said to me once it was being the soul of the brand. Wow. That's, that sounds a That's bit. Deep. That sounds a bit heavy. Sounds a bit American. To it sounds, it sounds a bit heavy. <laughs> but it's just making it's just making sure that we stay true to the reason we started in the first place. Yes. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you're going to love our game. Great. Okay. Well, because it's got nothing to do with that at all. As soon as Dan has heard of a business model or two in his time, we decided to you put his knowledge to the test. Yes. We're going to award Take him with two thousand euro cold hard cash. Well, when it's we say cash. It's not, kind of it's not actual TV thing. It's kind of monopoly. Uh, but it's, it's not, not real. It's not uh, we're going to list out some business it. ideas to him. And he can decide to invest his cash or pass on the idea. Okay? Yeah. For every business that succeeds in real life, his capital goes up by 500 euro. For everyone that failed, we take back 500. All he has to do is keep his accounts in the black. Our Carol Vorderman 
Yeah, more like Nana Muscori. Oh, I can't see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, uh, <laughs> glasses go with your jumper and jeans. Can make a memory. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, go on. Do you actually know Nana Muscori? No, I yes. don't. No, yes. I don't know. Those she knows. Yeah. Can't she see you right now, but I know you're in the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. She's going to take the position by the number board. Yeah. It's a game that we call a whiz or a swiz, it's and we're already, we already know it's what a whiz rude. means. Yeah. Okay. It's not rude. No. We didn't okay. know what a whiz, a whiz meant is a great in idea, our production right? meeting. So, great idea. Okay. A, whiz. Thank a you. whiz if you think it's a real business, yeah. a swiz yeah. if you think that okay. it's okay. Yeah. Oh, right. So here we so go. So you have two grand now, right? You know two this. Two grand. So let me just put this up now. I did do foundation math, so you've got to bear with me. Okay. So we'll put 2,000 to start with. Okay, I've got 2,000. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, I actually feel like it, Karen, this is, is quite pounds, exciting. Pounds or this euro? Exciting. This is euro. Euro, okay. okay. You're in the yeah. euro zone now, Okay, Dan. Come on. Okay, sorry. Followers. Lucky breaks. Are you sick right. of fighting with sorry. family members over the wishbone on the turkey or chicken? Everyone hoping to get some good luck in, into their back pocket. Right, worry no more because this company supplies families across the world with synthetic and plastic wishbones so you can all have a chance to get lucky even if you're not feeling like a chicken tonight. So is it a whiz or a swiz? Wow. Is that real? Yes, is it a real... Is it a whiz or a, or a made-up yeah. thing? Yeah. That's... Well, it's so... There's no Quick way... Quick game is a good game, guys. Whiz. <laughs> whiz. Whiz. <laughs> whiz. <laughs> It is a whiz. Yeah. Wow. Yay. All right. All right. Two even plus even, even these guys can make that up. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Two thousand five hundred okay. down. We're already up. Okay. Euro. Next is the toilet paper cleaning gloves. If you're the kind of person who likes to get down and dirty with your to toilet bowl on a regular basis, yeah. uh, test your best friend uh, with a good pair of gloves. Uh, then, sorry. Then your best friend is a good pair of gloves. Why use and reuse them? Instead, you can get these marigolds uh, covered in thousands of germs. So stick on your disposable toilet paper gloves and scrub to your heart's content. So oh, glo gloves. Gloves. Gloves yeah. for yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's a swiz. It's a swiz. It's a swiz. He's right. My right. business man. Yes. So All right. He gets another five hundred. All right. Okay. You okay. are going to be next. Is, my next is the fire your rhino. Us men know that a visit to the public toilet can often lack a bit of va va voom but you can spice up your encounter at the urinal with the fire urinal. It looks like a normal urinal, except it's got a little flame in it. Your job is to put the fire out. Like it. If you choose to accept it, <laughs> all right. Uh, hours of pleasure and manly banter are waiting there for you. But, you know, is it a whiz or a swizz? Well, given what it is, I have to say whiz. Okay. <laughs> right. Is and he I, right? And I will say whiz. I'll say whiz. say whiz. 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 Yeah. No, no, it's a swiz. Oh, Think oh, of sorry. the health and safety. No, my friends. Make it flame and oh, we yeah, don't want to go there. Yeah. The live alarm clock. If your plain old boring alarm clock is getting you down instead of getting you up, the live alarm clock is just for you. If you sign up for this scheme, then your mobile number will be entered into a pool of real people around the world who will ring you at the time you're meant to get up. Uh, uh, the girlfriend won't have to scream at you anymore. You can say good morning to Ping Chang in Beijing. Oh, who is it a whiz stuff? or a swiz? <laughs> so Stranger, stranger phones you, gives you an alarm call. You're, you're, yeah. you're part of a net and people ring you from around the world say, get up, get out of bed, Dan, you need to be at a meeting at seven in Dublin. Talk to us. <sighs> whiz, whiz. Two and a half grand. Whiz. You're saying whiz. It is a whiz. Yeah. Way right. right. back in three. All right. OK. Back in uh, the game. All right. Absent Consumers Network, right? If you think your boss is catching on to you constantly pulling sickies, which is a no-no, by the way. Yes, of yes, course. Of course. Uh, you might want to make a call to the Absent Consumers Network, which can aid and abet such naughty behaviour. They'll send yeah. you fake doctor certificates, fake jury duty notices, Genius. and even Genius fake idea. funeral service leave. Love them. They'll give you third and fourth grand. Love. Um, and then your employer will, will not be any otherwise. OK. <sighs> Is it a whiz or a swiz? Well, talking about the we talked about the need and yeah. knowing the need. I in, need my, young, whiz? in my younger oh, days, I would have <laughs> I would have been quite happy using that service. Yes. So I'm going to say whiz again. I feel like I'm whiz. whizzing, whizzing quite a lot. You are a bit of a whiz kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you've obviously drank a lot of water before yeah, you came yeah. here today. Yes. Yes, and it's a good whiz. Yes. Whiz. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Dan, since you sat on our couch, you have made. A make believe, three and a half months. Make believe. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. 1,500 pounds. Oh, it's a TV3. It's good. Look, just to give you an idea of, of the money around here, this is my prop. It's a stick. Alrighty. It's yeah. just a stick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me find a camera, any camera. I am an anonymous Pick a camera. Alrighty. Still to come, everybody, our chef, Seamus Commons, will be showing us uh, how to prepare another simple but delicious dish. We'll see you all in a few. Would you like that? Yeah.
Welcome back to Late Lunch Live. It's dessert time, courtesy of Seamus Commons, and we're talking about tax. Yes. <laughs> okay. Move swiftly on. Yes. Um, Why hold back? <laughs> okay. No. We're talking tax. Yes. Tartan. Right. Tartan is classical. It's a French tart. <laughs> okay, that word again. Okay. Um, yeah. Caramel and. That's it. Your apples. We'll go through the elements how to make it up. And then we're going to serve with um, cider raisins. Mm-hmm. You can taste them later on. And vanilla cream. Okay. Simple, All tasty, right. fast, okay. furious. Okay. Let's get cooking. Okay. Um, the apple says it. Granny Smith, Granny Smith apple, right? Mm-hmm. And the reason Granny Smith, the sweetness. It's not as sweet. Okay. okay. This is another thing we should have supposed to was cored for a start. Yeah. And that's, they say, that's, that's the man for that. Remove the core, yeah. But, okay. but generally the work, we take this just off like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, and then, um, just even presentation-wise, there's a way of doing this, like, can we just turn that That up? enables you to keep your can you put it that way? Yes. Okay, it's going to follow, well, technically, the guns and the will follow mm-hmm. But that's the way down, that's the, way down the, the okay. skin side of the apple down, right? Okay. 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 And this is at the core, and then it comes off. Okay. And the caramel is easy to do? The caramel, basically... Uh, We'll put the pan on in a second. Basically, you put in your sugar, mm-hmm. equal quantities of sugar to butter. Put in sugar, bring it to a light dark brown, take it off the heat, whisk in your butter. Okay. That's as simple as it is. how much butter? One is to one. Okay. You put 100 grams of sugar, it's 100 grams of butter, unsalted butter. Okay. But the big thing about it is the heat. Be careful not to burn yourself. Caramel is one of the things that'll protect the skin. Oh, yes, that's right. We have okay. spoken about this before. It's, uh, it's not... Um, so, so if you just leave it to cool. Yeah, leave it to cool. Basically, take it off the heat. Mm-hmm. The caramel first out and kind of stand back okay. uh, for a little let's rest for a little second and then whisk in the butter mm-hmm. so okay. it blends. Okay, um, the caramel itself, if you took the caramel off the bottom of this and you eat it, it tastes like a Pacific type of bar. I'm going to mention the bar. Okay, so we'll see after and guess what bar tastes like. Okay, okay, I like that. Guessing game, yeah, yeah. Guess the okay. okay, that's it. Done. That is this, it is simple. Into okay. 120 oven, um, between that's probably 10 15 minutes. Done, mm-hmm. dust it. Okay. 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 Well, the one there, the back. What you just put in, you didn't make up. You can buy in the shop. If you wish. The pastry. Yeah. Sorry, I should have just put pastry. That's when we met ourselves. Work, but pre-rolled. You can get the blocks of pastry. Just roll it out to that thickness. Okay. So you get kind of Christmas real butter, pa- buttery pastry. It's more buttery again. Okay. But it's all good stuff here, right? Mm-hmm. So that's the tarts side of things. Raisins. Cider raisins. You could do this using armiac or whatever your tipple of choice. Mm-hmm. Gin doesn't really work with gin, but uh. Yeah. Well, it might okay. for you. No. You know, okay. Fine. Okay. You can have a taste of the, the raisins themselves. Mm-hmm. There's the cider in them. Mm-hmm. Like everything's, everything's very sweet. I drive home after this. Yes. Taxi mm. for King, please. Taxi for okay. King. Okay. So method for making them, right? In goes your cider. Yeah. Okay. And cinnamon. They're lovely. Oh, yeah. A bit of cinnamon, yes. Pretty much the boil. See, I, that's I, the dry form. You can taste them in the dry form. Like, there's, nothing, okay. there's nothing there. They're really good raisin. Mm-hmm. Try it in. You're always boy. only giving me these to see how I react, and if I pass out, you news <laughs> using another box of raisins. <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm used to it. Go for it. Okay. That's our, our raisins again. Go up to the boil. Leave them sit overnight. Nice garnish for terrines if you're having ham or anything like that. Really good. Really depth of fla- good depth of flavour in it. Okay. Okay, okay we've so. three minutes left, James. Okay, no, this is not. The cream. Oh, All the cream right. is. All right. Just a bit of cream. Mm hmm. Or vanilla, you can see the vanilla extract, yes, yes. but the seeds inside it. Ah, too. right, okay. So we we'll take the pot, I'll just save a little bit of time wise. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll leave that there, and sugar, ice and sugar. That's okay, it. ice and sugar. Then whisk. Um, no, I'm crap at whisk- whiskey. We'll, we'll, we'll be handing it over when the okay. pressure comes on, you know. Yeah, sorry. Well, Dan's the man, <laughs> for, the, Dan is the man for whiskey. Um, usually, a figure of eight. Oh really? Yeah, that's so the same. So I would normally go like this. Yeah, you're working there so basically into it. That's the mistake I'm making. Then. Yeah. So okay. figure of eight. Yeah, figure of eight. Um, basically, you want to stiff. So basically, when it hits the hot tart, it's not going to uh, dissolve straight away. Right. And um, the raisins with it. Okay. Start so to come really together. It needs to be clotted. Yeah. It need, well, not really. This was stiff. The, the cream itself needs to be peaking. Okay. okay. You can see it's starting to come together now. It's going to. Yeah. But it's so simple, like the extract, the vanilla and the sugar, a little bit of sweetness, not too much, because but the, the apple is more like a toffee apple than anything else. Ah, oh, yeah, and that's really starting to form now. It's too okay. much, Yeah. You see, there's my workout for the week. Wow, no need for any more exercise this week, Mr. Cummins. Okay, sorry now. Okay. That's, that's it. That's it. Three, ready to go. Be you too. And um, just, I suppose, more for the chefiness side sort of things, usually we do like a cornell. Yeah, no, they're kind of mm-hmm. chevy. So, you've got these boys in the oven for how long? Um, 15 
10 to 15 minutes, depends on the size. Right? Okay, and at okay. what temperature? Um, 200. Okay. 200 being the fact you're cooking puff pastry. That's the big okay. element of it, right? Okay. This is where the fun starts. I'll get the hands burned okay. off myself. Yeah, as best as fingers. Be careful. All right. Okay. okay. They look delicious. Who's not getting one? Okay. Uh, me. Who was abusing me earlier on? I need to lose the weight. Uh, I do. So. I do. You do. I do. No, you do. Okay. You look two. Okay. Okay. Same thing again. And again. Just lightly loosen. Mm -hmm. This is. Um, Delicious. It's coming out of a 110 oven, but it's allowed to settle for a little bit. If you bring it out what straight away, you, by the way, what are your tips for getting it onto the place? I mean, that looked fairly, you know, fairly <laughs> dangerous to me because they came straight from the oven. But nine times out of ten, a cloth, put it in the cloth like that, or a little side plate, turn it on the side plate and then slide it onto the dish you want to serve it in. Okay. That's the best All way right. to go okay. right? Okay. Okay, our raisins. We're going to put in a few raisins now. Okay, and these are the ones that have been left overnight. Left overnight in the cider and stuff like that. Nice mm. depth of flavour in them. With the uh, bit of cinnamon. And you can really taste cinnamon. the cinnamon, yeah. by the way, folks. You really can. But just, it's, the sweetness element has gone out of it, so it's kind of toning down the sweetness of the mm -hmm. tart itself. Okay. okay. And a hot spoon of cream. Ah, yes. Now we're talking. And the trick is to make sure that the cream is just right so that it doesn't tight it dissolve. It sits there on top. The raisins, that the chill of the raisins are not going to let the cream melt down. Mm -hmm. Again, ah, the big thing, is, even to get your quenelle or rocher, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. is a warm spoon. Okay. That is a trick of the trade, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like it's just been polished. Okay. Oh, oh, we're going to put a tiny wee bit ah, of crackle crystals. Good. Sorry, no. And just to finish it off. The crackle crystals popping. Okay, you see, we eat with our eyes at least yeah. first. Okay. Get the sound going. <laughs> Listen to that. Wow. Popping candy. Kids it's have been looking for a little. Okay. okay. Folks, all you need to know, you'll find on the Late Lunch Live website, tv3.ie forward slash Late Lunch Live, if you want to find out how to make tart tartan. Okay, we better bring it over in the direction. Come on, boys, stop talking. Yeah. Bring it over. Oh, no, nice. I'll write it. Come on over. Let the big dog the eat. Yeah, I'll grab nice. the spoons. Okay. Thank you all, um, as always, for getting in touch from home. We love your tweets, your emails, your texts. We read all of them, even when the show is over. So thanks so much. Two people. Thank you. Nice staff, Renter. Um, two people want to know where Show I got my jumper days. from. Christine Kennedy and Lisa Hanlon. This is um, Henry Holland from Debenhams. All right. so my jumper is from Debenhams. Okay. Not Dan. The jumper is from Debenhams. Okay. Uh, lots of people in touch with us uh, talking about weddings. We were talking about this at the top of the show. Uh, it's often thought that having a marquee at home would save money. In my experience, it actually it's actually the opposite. Oh, really? Says this viewer, yeah. Uh, the, the, the other thing about having the party at home is people don't know when it's over. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Another big problem. You've got to get, like the bus, <laughs> get the bus ready. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, You're right. not there asleep yeah. in your okay. bed. Anyway, okay. So. Okay. Well, let's let get stuck in there and see what you think. Okay. okay. Wow. Silence making me nervous. Yeah. Mm. Well, the pressure's on. Me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you. He's a happy man. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. What, what advice me. would Dan give to okay. a young entrepreneur <laughs> uh, who wants to break into business? Asks Paul Atkinson. Um, I Good think, question. Uh, well, I guess over and above the other stuff that I've said, probably... I'd write a list of your ten heroes, you know, maybe your business heroes, the people that you, whose work you admire, or, mm -hmm. and I'd get in touch with them. Because you find that weirdly that the people, I know that when people get in touch with us, I, I'm always up for a, for a chat and a. Really? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because, you know, I was doing that 15 years yes. ago. I was yeah. the one going. I mm -hmm. don't know what I'm doing, and 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 you always remember the people that actually got back in touch with you and said, yeah, sure, come and have a cup of tea and a chat with us. So yes. yeah. I'd you know write write a list of your heroes and. And go and see them more often than not. They'll give you some great advice, and, may, and maybe connect you with people that that will help you realise your dream. And yeah. somebody else wants to know whose idea was it to draw the little cute faces on the fruit. This is a bone of contention, because oh, really? as, as with all the, many things point. shrouded in the mist of time, uh, John, one of the founders, I think th thinks it may have been him doodling on a uh. on a napkin in a pub, and there was a little face. But but actually. Um, we got some designers to actually make it look presentable, the sort of little mm -hmm. innocent logo of the face and the halo. And now we now we just stick it on everything that we can. OK, is that one of the things to do, to know as well your own limits, that, you, you know, w when you need to bring other people in yeah, definitely. to help you push the business definitely, up? Definitely, you know... It, investors. Yeah, well, investors, but also, especially... In, you know, when you're when you're, when you're you're making a, a product such as a smoothie, you, you know, you want people who are experts in their field on, on fruit, where to get the best fruit. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the very first hires we made was a really clever lady called Lucy, who... Oh, Lucy's our brand. Exactly. Continue, who, Dan, please. Who we, who we stole from a very... Uh, a, a larger... Um, 
business. Okay. Or a, or a sharp name who, ca who came in and, and showed us the ropes on how to make great drinks. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember, folks, this evening, uh, Powers Court in Dublin is where you need to be yeah. in the city centre for this. Yeah. And feel free to pop the question. Spread good. Spread the good. Feel free to pop the question. Oh, okay. Not to us, but to okay. whoever you're okay. uh, yeah. with. Folks, we're out of time. Okay. Uh, that's it for another Late Lunch Live. Our thanks yeah. to our guest, the very inspirational Dan Germain. <laughs> You've been eating it. To the man who brings those West of Ireland po portions to the East Coast. He Shane is the reason why I've got to wear big knickers. Now, join us again tomorrow at 2.30 when Killer Scully actor Garrett Keogh is on the couch. Claire Solon gets to grips with some adorable puppies. And Andrew Rudd is back in the kitchen. Have a lovely day, everybody. See you tomorrow.